I mean, I that was the most people I've ever seen. I mean, whatever, 35, 40,000 people. And, uh, I mean, we had done those send-off rallies before at the, at the plaza by the Hall of Fame. Um, we had done them in the stadium before, but nothing like that. So I walked out, and I couldn't believe it. And uh, even all the way driving up through Route 1 and all the way down to Providence Airport, there were people. So I feel like the support for us is greater than ever. And uh, it's pretty cool to see. Yeah, I'm excited. Look, it's, you know, you're playing football in front of the whole world. So you can't get excited about that. You probably don't have a heartbeat. But I'll be anxious. I'll be nervous. But be excited to get out there and, you know, try to beat a great team. Do I have any say in a Tom Brady movie? Oh. I don't know. I got I to gotta put some work. I've, I've tried to stick with my Boston boys, with Wahlberg and, and, uh, or Matt or, uh, or Ben. I don't know. Maybe we'll have a casting. I'll get to bring all those guys in. That would be pretty sweet. Jared Goff, he's a great young player. Um, you know, he's – how old is he, 24? 24 years old and uh, first-round pick, first pick in the draft, a lot of expectation. and He's had an incredible year. And uh, – just so impressed with his poise going to New Orleans to win and, uh, you know, played great there for him down the stretch, and he's had a great season. You know, I, I, I said last week I think playing our best at the end is what's most important. So it's not always what happens in September. In fact, I don't think we've had our best months in September. But, you know, we got some guys back from injury. Um, Josh came in. He played a big role for us. Um, and then, you know, guys just found different roles. Sony really came on. The backfield got healthy with Rex getting healthy. Guys settled into some different spots. And I think really what we've done the last four or five weeks has been, you know, our best football. So hopefully that, you know, we can carry that over for one more game. Uh, L.A. Boston. Yeah, I mean, I was watching those basketball games when I grew up. And, uh. Celtics, Lakers. I loved actually both those teams. So it was a. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. There's. It's pretty cool. There's football in LA, and they got a great team this year. They really, you know, been one of the best teams all season, if not the best. I think them and the Chiefs played the most consistently over the course of the whole season, and uh, you know, it's going to be our toughest game of the year. I think it's been pretty consistent over the years. I mean, I don't think we've changed much. I think um, I think there's, you know, we have a great understanding of one another. And, you know, I certainly couldn't be the head coach of the team. And, you know, he couldn't play quarterback. And, you know, it's just we we do our jobs the best we know how. And I think I know he has a lot of confidence in me. Obviously, I have all the confidence in the world in him. And, uh you know, it's just been a great, it's been a great relationship for me. And, uh, you know, he's taught me so much about leadership, how to be a leader for the team. And he's been so consistent, and his goal is winning, and that's what mine is. What's up, dude? What's your question? How proud are you that two Bay Area quarterbacks are facing off in this year's Super Bowl? You know, I saw Jared. That was the first time I met him. And uh, there's something about these NorCal guys. That are uh, that are pretty unique, and uh, I went away to college. He stayed, and he went to Cal. He had a great career at Cal, and then I think it was really hard to be a first round, a first overall pick. There's a lot of pressure that comes with that. It takes a real mature person, and uh, he's certainly that. He had a great season, made some incredible throws all year, and uh, it's going to be you know an honor to go out there and play against him. It's nice to have all of Northern California rooting one way or another for us. I mean, that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to play well. And, uh, you know, the team doesn't want some average quarterback. So I got to play better than that. And, uh, you know, this week they need a great quarterback. So that's what I got to be. I got to be the best quarterback I could be. And, you know, I'm confident, you know, that I can prepare. And this is a team that challenges you. They got a lot of people that make this game very tough. And, uh, you know, let's see how it goes. How are you able to focus despite the negative fan base? A.K.A. the haters. I don't know. What do we do about the haters? 
We love them. We love them. We love them back because we don't hate back. We appreciate it and we love them and we wish them the best in their life. What have I learned from my daughter? Oh my God. Uh, she's taught me a lot. You know, she's, she's like, yeah, I, I think she's perfect. She's just perfect to her dad, so. That I have no ability to say no to her because she just, she knows how to work her dad. It's, it's unbelievable. So she definitely got that from her mom. My greatest challenge in 2019, it's just gonna be continuing to, to be able to prepare the way I want, you know, with my body, with my mind. And, um, you know, it always has its unique challenges. So I've got, you know, I've already got my off season mapped out. It's nice when you kind of figure out that the Super Bowl is your last game. Then you can start penciling in all the dates for your family and travel and so forth. And, um, you know, it'll be a lot of time with my family and try to get ready for another year. I think you have the confidence in your teammates. Gronky! I can hear you. Who's that more fun than him tonight? Nobody. Just a belief in, in, in my teammates, belief in the situation that we're going to get it done. And, you know, I've always felt like, you know, if you're always winning these games, you can never have a comeback. So when you're behind, I mean, what better opportunity than to go do something, you know, special. And that's what people remember. And we're entertainers. I mean, that's we're reality TV stars in our own right. And, you know, we get a chance to go out there and entertain people. And they want to see great games. And we want to be a part of great games. I you look at Adam Vinatieri, I mean, that kick that he made in the snow, if, if you kick in a dome, you don't have those kicks. But that becomes the greatest NFL kick in NFL history because he plays in the snow. And I think that's the same thing when you're behind in games. you got to, you know, if you want to be a great clutch quarterback, you got to come from behind. But you can't do that if you're ahead all the time.